Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we're going to attempt to clean this really nasty mini split system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. We are working in an elevator mechanical room. As you can see, we have two elevators for this system and we have a really gross mini split system. I was here the other day and I found the filter packed, packed. To get to the filters, for any brand really pretty much, this is a Mitsubishi, you're just going to pull up this top cover and you can easily just slide out the filters. These clearly are clean. Man, it was pretty bad before. And it's still gross in here. That's behind the filter. Oh God, and inside there, it's just a nightmare. So we're gonna attempt to try to clean this thing. And we'll see what happens. Remove this little cover here. Let's see how this one comes out. But it's brand, there's like a little clip. I think we could just move it. Yeah, just kind of pop it out. Turn off the power first turn off the thermostat just the proper way of doing things this one has a remote turn it off turn off the power for the outdoor unit a split system turn off the power for the outdoor unit and i should kill power here communication we got one of these already missing but well, you just loosen up these little clips here kind of pull that to the side and that can come out that's pretty gross too we're gonna have to find some screws around here. There should be some Phillips screws in a couple of places where we could take off this front cover here. Okay, right here, got these little clips covering the screws. Okay, see three here. So just keep an eye out for some screws and uh, we'll take that out. Christian is gonna clean the outdoor unit. That's a lot easier. You know, clean the fan blade and the condenser coil, take off a cover a lot easier. Cleaning these are a lot trickier, honestly. So let's see. My really main concern is that fan blade. And that thing is in bad shape. All right, I think that was it. Oh, there we go. Kind of clips right off. Man, this thing is nasty, man. There you have it. This is our evaporator coil. Pretty dirty, but I'm not too too concerned about it. It's really that inside here. That is just a freaking nightmare. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I heard this drain pan has no like screws on it. I think it's just a clip. Oh yeah, yeah. Clip holding it, holding the camera with one hand. Okay, we need to remove this. Let's see if I can get this last little clip off. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty gross. There we go, there we got, now we got to that fan. As far as here. Oh, pretty much the only thing holding it right now is the drain line. The drain hose, which is right here. Which I guess we could pop that out. Drain hose is holding it. And it's just holding it in by clips. Okay. might have a little something just to hold this while I get in there all right you know what how is this holding in here oh there's wires and stuff going this we're not cleaning that whole thing nice and clean <laughs> oh my god man that's crazy Anyways, we got in here, that's the blower wheel. 
And that's what we want. There should be a set screw somewhere on here. Let's try to find it. Let me see if I see anything. Basically, the motor is in here, right? There should be a set screw, like a little Allen key or something like that, that we can loosen up in there to pull it out. All right, we got Christian over there. We got the front panel off. The, uh, the electrical is covered with some plastic. And we're hitting the coil from both sides, cleaning all of that over there. Nice, nice day out here. You should see like an opening, like a slot where you could fit like an Allen key or a screwdriver. I don't know why I don't see one. I wonder if it's just being held in like this. The other side of the motor sits here. Let me see if I take this off. Could I pull it out? Man, I hate these units, man. Seriously a pain to get to everything. Oil gets a little loose. Take out this little thing here. has to be locked in that's what i'm saying but you basically got to loosen the set screw and then you can pull it out like that what the heck let me find this thing i don't know why i don't see it all right what a pain so instead of under the fan blade you gotta look inside man i don't even know if you guys will be able to see that Let's see if i can set up a light there but instead of here right in here there's a tiny little allen key you can fit in there let me see. Oh, right there. You see it with the little metal ring? There's an Allen key right there. Loosen that up. And you loosen these three screws up, move the coil out of the way, and pull that blade out. Okay. I think I got it. I have some long Allen keys, but while out, instead of waiting, try to use this. Shorter Allen key, the adjustable wrench. Right there. All right, got that loose, I believe. So the a couple screws here. Move this bit out the way. Ah, oh, yes. And I got it out. Jeez. All right, so make sure you put this in the right way. You see you all have a clearer picture on this end right here. Got that little Allen key right there to loosen it from the motor shaft. Take a look at this, guys. This is the air that you're breathing, man. These units really get really bad, and you really want to do some maintenance on these. Jeez, man. All right, good old water. Oh yes, get some decent pressure on there. All right, and we're gonna clean this thing out. The amount of dirt that's coming out of here is incredible. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Can't forget about the outside covers. Right. So rinse everything down. Wipe it down. All right. All right, I know this looks a little crazy. They sell a thing for this, but put a couple garbage bags, two garbage bags with some duct tape while you hit the coil. 
Just hold it back. It, it ain't too much to hit over here. It ain't too bad. But first, we're gonna brush it down and then hit it with a little pressure washer. Got this little tool right here. Subco Porta Blaster. If you don't have a constant water supply, just use a bucket, but you do need a power source. Man, that's making a world of a difference. Soon it's gonna work so much better. Now we're pretty much gonna wipe everything in sight. All right, looking so much better. It's looking like a drone pan over here. So we'll pretty much just wipe everything else down and start assembling this thing back together. All right, this side with the set screw, it's gonna go in here. We're gonna move this a little bit off to the side to so get this thing properly in there. Okay. All right, get to fit that in there. Okay, that can go this way. Just know that that set, that uh, shaft is completely rounded. So, also I got a longer Allen key. You're gonna want something like this when dealing with this. Just find out the correct spot. Get to that Allen screw. Get to that Allen screw right there. Come on. And tighten it down. Okay. And tighten it down. Kind of keep it on the edge. You're gonna want to let maybe you're gonna want to spin it. Put this piece back in. Okay. Make sure this is in prop. There we go. Okay, then this shaft sits in here. I want to make sure that's proper. Spin it by hand, make sure it's not hitting anything. Okay, that's in and let's carefully put this thing back. Right, these little clips. Let's start from this edge actually. Let's get this carefully in place. Okay. Okay, that popped in. Let's make sure this is all in properly. Man, this thing is looking acceptable now. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, everything's cleaned up. Get this cover on there, like this. Should kind of pop in from the top. Right there, right there. And now we can put those screws back. Had those three screws on the lower side of it. One. Okay, two, and one more here. All right. Also have those little covers. And you kind of just pop this thing back in. There you go. All right, nice clean filters. And these filters are like partially broken. It gets caught when you try to slide them in. 
Anyways, okay. That's nice. Well, at least as nice as it's gonna get. This thing ain't right. Whatever. It's still gonna help a lot. All right. It's really. Back in. There we go. Okay, let's pop this thing back inside. Okay, there we go. All right, let's turn this power back on. Let's get a temperature reading. That's what I'm talking about. It already came on. Beautiful. Yeah, that's the proper way to do it. It's definitely a lot more work, but when units are in this shape, you really gotta take this thing apart. So temperatures are still dropping. Sixty point six. Alright. Let's give this thing a chance, but man, that's a beautiful thing right there. I'm gonna wrap this thing up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.